Then Manager Logic's pinpoint was created with one simple concept in mind. React to an event on an HMI screen, like an alarm or the click of a button, and immediately find the code corresponding to that event in your Logic's ACD code file. This concept became reality and was initially shown using VBA scripting and Factory Talk View SC, using Thin Manager events to open specific rungs of logic within Studio 5000. With the introduction of Factory Talk Optics, the question was quickly asked Can Thin Manager Logic's pinpoint react to HMI events from Factory Talk Optics like it does from Factory Talk View SC? The answer Yes. Let's walk through a simple example of how you can use Thin Manager Logic's Pinpoint and Thin Manager to tie into your Factory Talk Optics built application. First, I will start by explaining and showing what we are demoing. I am using Thin Manager to distribute my Factory Talk Optics application as a display client. We use Thin Manager's application link functionality by specifying the path to the executable of the application built from Factory Talk Optics. I'm showing you two active terminals in the left side tree of Thin Manager. One terminal is hosting the Factory Talk Optics application, and the other is hosting Thin Manager Logic's pinpoint. When we click an alarm, Thin Manager Logic's pinpoint will launch Studio 5000 and navigate the ACD file, highlighting the Logic's code that corresponds to that alarm. Now let's shadow the terminal with the Factory Talk Optics application and click on the alarms page you see our active alarms. When we click on the tank one alarm, we can switch to the other terminal to see that it has found the code associated with the tank one alarm in the ACD file. Going back, we can click on the tank two alarm, and again, Studio 5000 now shows the code associated with the tank two alarm. Now let's take a look at how we make this happen. Factory Talk Optics natively uses C# -sharp code. This allows us to leverage the power of the ThinManager REST API and trigger our configured ThinManager pinpoint events from our Factory Talk Optics application. Let's first look at the pinpoint event in ThinManager. The event can be named anything you wish, but the event type needs to be set to the pinpoint event type, and the expression needs to be set to a variable and value that you will use in the C-sharp code of your Factory Talk Optics application. In this case, we specify the match expression of pinpoint remote equals one in our C-sharp code. By clicking next, we are able to specify the terminal that we want to receive our pinpoint event. In this case, it is our wired 6B6300P thin client. To put it simply, every time the manager sees a pinpoint event with this matched expression, it gets sent to this terminal. Looking back at the left side tree in Thin Manager, you see we have two terminals, 6A and 6B. The pinpoint event will trigger on the 6B terminal. Also worth mentioning, the event log for configured Thin Manager events will keep track when an event is triggered. Now looking at our 6B terminal, you can see we have added the display client set up for the Thin Manager Logics pinpoint. If we shadow the terminal and minimize Studio 5000, we can maximize pinpoint so you can see the graphical user interface. Going to the settings, you see we have identified the path to the ACD file for our Factory Talk Optics application. And under Event Log, you can again see the Thin Manager events recorded as they happen. Let's switch over to Factory Talk Optics. From the alarms data grid in the UI folder, we have added an event of selection changed and pointed it to a specific method in our C# -sharp code to be triggered. When someone clicks on one of our declared alarms, in this case, we have titled that code TM Logics Pinpoint, and the method it's calling is called Banana. Now let's open the code and find the method Banana. The method parses out the alarm information to get the tag and scope so that we can pass the information to the Thin Manager server. The information is passed to our pinpoint method that builds the array that can be serialized into JSON and make our event call to the Thin Manager REST API. You can see that we are using our API key and also the URL to the API within our own Thin Manager configuration by IP address and port number, followed by our events endpoint as part of our post method request. 
To further illustrate what we are doing here, let's take a look at the documentation page for the REST API by navigating to our Edge browser and entering the URL made from our local IP and port number slash API slash documentation. Now we can navigate to the events group of endpoints and look at the post endpoint that we are using for this example. You can see the required JSON schema that the API needs to receive to process our request. We could select the try it out button after authenticating to the API and enter the same data to execute and get the same result. We're simply doing it through code triggered by the selection changed event dynamically based on the specific alarm clicked in Factory Talk Optics. Hopefully, this has illustrated how straightforward it can be to link together Factory Talk Optics with your Studio 5000 code using Thin Manager Logic's Pinpoint and Thin Manager. You can also view this example through the repository that's been uploaded to GitHub at github.com slash thinmanager. We are very excited to have Factory Talk Optics join the Rockwell portfolio of products and for everyone to start using it with Thin Manager.